Patrick, hello. Hey, Tony. How are you, man? I'm doing well. How are you? Very good. Very good. Uh, first of all, I, uh, congratulations on uh, on Midway. It is uh, it, it's it's doing great at the box office. People are loving it. Um, I think Thank it's a you. story that that needs to be told and retold. I I, I agree. Well, at least told. Maybe not retold. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, it's it's been unbelievable for sure. Great great thing to be a part of. Uh, I, I, I think younger people need to know what their grandparents, uh, you know, how brave they were. This, the generation that we call the greatest generation, yeah. um, bar none, they, they just took upon themselves uh, the, the horrors of war. Well, you're talking about a generation that, that, that came out of the Depression and World War I and how they uh, somehow pulled themselves together, united behind one another, uh, came together as a country, and, and yes, shaped the world as we know it. So um, it's, it's nice to, to take this side of it uh, uh, from, the, from the movie side so, so that it, I think it can reach a wider audience. Uh, historians and the older crowd certainly uh, knows the importance of the battle and, 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 of the, and of the greatest generation, but it's really, really encouraging when I see young kids going and teenagers going to the film and going, I had no idea. You know, we can say to we're blue in the face how important your elders are and the people don't take your freedom for granted and all those things are very true and very real, but when you see the kind of responsibility and bravery that these men and women had, um, uh, if that sinks into just one uh, you know, young person who, who didn't know a lot about World War II, uh, then we've succeeded. Tell me a little bit about what, what you went through as far as research for your role as, as Edwin right. Layton. Um, well, he had a great uh, book that came out uh, that he wrote, uh, an autobiography in the 80s uh, called And I Was There, which really chronicles his, his time from you know, he was serving as a naval attache and coming out of the uh, Naval Academy, uh, his, his chance meeting with Yamamoto that we uh, put in the film, um, and chronicles his, his, his military history. So uh, that was not available, honestly, in, in, uh, in the 70s when, uh, when they made the other Midway movies. So I felt like we could really do some, some work that hadn't been done before uh, in showing the importance of Leighton in all of this, and the importance of intelligence, both when it failed and how it succeeded. And I think that's something that, that is a nice uh, a reminder of, of the skill set and, the, and the, the bravery and also the, just the luck that, that it takes that these guys and uh, gals go out with every day. You know, you, you as an actor, you do every, every so often take on roles of, of people that actually are living or have lived. Yeah. Is, there, is there more of a responsibility on a role like that than, you know, something that was just out of a writer's pen, a character that came from an imagination? Um, I think so, in that you, you, you want to make the family proud, you want to make your, your, the Navy proud, um, but I, you know, I, 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 I don't really tend to get caught up in that. I just feel like if I, if I you know, I approach every character with, with, with heart, and uh, and focus and um, and if I can get inside and I know the right story to be told, then I feel like if if nothing else, you never know how a movie's going to do. But you can walk away going, well, I I, I gave as truthful a performance as I could. I understand both his strengths and his flaws, um, and, and that was something that luckily there's so much research done about this battle that you you're able to 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 get a, a, a glimpse of that. So. Um, it's, it's with great humility and, and respect, but it's, it's actually not a lot of nerves. If anything, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to, to really get in the steps to, 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 to walk in the shoes of these, of these men. You know, we, we have such a short time together, you and I, but uh, I had to ask uh, uh, Roland Emmerich, one of my favorite directors, uh, how, how is he to work with? I mean, he's nothing scares that man. Nothing, uh, <laughs> no, no stunt, no effect is too big. You know, he's made so many great disaster movies, and but but for me, you know, I kept thinking of how the the Patriot resonated with me, and 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 still does. That's one of probably my favorite film of his. Um, so he's. You know, he's a guy, look, you've got a German immigrant uh, that's doing a story about the greatest naval battle in the Pacific theater, and, uh, and it shows you. I mean, he, he really believes in the American dream and what this country has, has brought him uh, and the success that, that it's brought him. Um, 
And so he's, he, he, he approaches it with this sense of humanity. So he can, he gets this whole scope, but he's really interested in the humanity, uh, both on the, on the American and the Japanese side. So, um, uh, he's, he's a pretty special director. Patrick, our, our time again, like I said, is so short. Thank you so much uh, for for joining us this morning, uh, and and congratulations again on Midway. I was everybody was surprised that it beat Doctor Sleep out at the box office. Yeah, and it's still going strong uh, the second week out. Yeah, no, it's 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 good. I'm happy. Happy people are going to see it. So thank you. All right, take care, and and uh, hope to see you uh, uh, on on one of the junkets coming up. Sounds good. Take care.